The access is the physical connection between the user and the network. It's also called the last mile, although the people who work in this part of the business prefer to call it the first mile. This circuit is the face of the telecom network to users. Service is usually billed on a per access basis and usually coupled with a network address. There are many types of access circuits and every one is covered in detail in related courses. To get started, we group them by technology, copper, fiber, and wireless. It all started with telephone companies and two copper wires called a loop, insulated and twisted together to minimize noise pickup. And since there are two wires twisted together, it's also referred to as twisted pair. Plain ordinary telephone service, or POTS, is implemented using voltage analogs of speech on the loop. Digital subscriber line, DSL, implements broadband communications on the loop using modems. Old-fashioned T1 business services, and there are still quite a few out there, are implemented with twisted pair down the road. And though strictly speaking, this is an in-building customer premise technology rather than a telecom network access technology, LAN cables, both the cabling inside the walls as shown here and the famous blue LAN patch cables with connectors on each end are made of twisted pair. Coaxial cable, or coax, is also two copper wires, but one is inside the other instead of side by side. The outer wire is hollow like a pipe, and the other wire runs inside the pipe. This geometry allows the transmission of very high frequency signals using voltage analogs, or modem signals. So compared to twisted pair, much more information, including television signals, and high-speed internet can be communicated. Of course, nothing is free. The maximum practical length of coax is about one-tenth that of twisted pair. The solution is to transport the signal on fiber to the neighborhood and then on coaxial copper wires to the premise. And this is called a hybrid fiber coax, or HFC system, and it's used to implement a community antenna television, or CATV, service, commonly called cable TV. With the coming advances in bandwidth and coverage of hybrid fiber coax and wireless access technologies, Telephone companies with an installed base of twisted pair copper loops, which are called incumbent local exchange carriers, or ILEX, had to decide if they wanted to continue in that business, as the twisted pair loops cannot support enough bandwidth to compete with future wireless and hybrid fiber coax. Continuing in the wired access to residence model means pulling a fiber to every residence. Pulling a fiber past every residence is an expensive and time-consuming project, but it leapfrogs all other technologies in bandwidth, erecting a business barrier against competition being able to deliver more bandwidth for the foreseeable future.
Telephone companies are provisioning dedicated optical Ethernet access for business customers and passive optical network or shared fiber links to residences. When a neighborhood is fibered, many dark fibers for future use as backhaul for future short-range ultra-high capacity wireless access is installed. The incremental cost is low and having the wiring for such a system pre-installed may be a cost differentiator between the ILEC and a wireless competitor in the future. Wireless systems can be fixed or mobile. Fixed wireless is access using radio between an antenna on a tower and an antenna on a building, communicating at frequencies like 2.5 and 3.5 gigahertz. Wi-Fi is, of course, a type of fixed wireless, but it fits into the customer premise equipment category rather than telecom services. Mobile wireless means many radio base stations, each with multiple antennas pointing in different directions, so that there is radio coverage in a large geographic area, and a system of handing off the user from one base station to the next as either the user moves around, that would be cell phones, and or the base stations move around, those would be low Earth orbit satellite phones. The Universal Terrestrial Radio Access Network Long-Term Evolution, also known as LTE, is also referred to as the fourth generation of mobile cellular, or 4G. LTE radio is also used in fixed wireless applications. The fifth generation, 5G, brings 40% more spectral efficiency, that's how many bits per hertz of frequency are achieved, plus the beginnings of massive bandwidth for end users using multiple input, multiple output, or MIMO, which is a type of spatial multiplexing, where you have multiple radios and multiple antennas physically glued together and all transmitting at the same time in slightly different locations. And with the combination of 5G and massive MIMO, we're heading towards one gigabit per second download speeds in practice. Geosynchronous Earth orbit is 22,300 miles above the surface of the Earth above the equator. And at this radius, the orbital velocity is the same as the rotational velocity of the Earth. So the satellite appears to be stationary to an Earth-bound antenna. Communicating with one from a very northern latitude would be the longest access circuit out of everything we're discussing. In this lesson, we've introduced the technologies used for the last mile, organizing them into copper, fiber, and wireless. We went through quite a number of technologies in one lesson. As this is the introductory course, we have named the technologies, mostly without explaining how they work. The detailed network diagrams seen in this lesson are taken from subsequent courses where we can explain all of this in more detail. POTS, DSL, and T1s installed by the ILEC all run on twisted pair down the street. LAN cables also use twisted pair, but they're in the customer premise category. They're not telecom access circuits. Coax supports much wider frequency bands, but shorter lengths. Hybrid fiber coax HFC systems deliver analog TV and modem signals in frequency channels to the neighborhood using analog techniques on fiber, which are distributed down the streets as electricity on coaxial copper wire. Fiber means using a glass tube to guide light from A to B, and changing the light in some way to indicate ones and to indicate zeros. Most systems use light on, light off. Light on means one, light off is zero. Expensive ones 
implement modems using light. QAM modems to get the bitrate even higher. In optical ethernet, the ones and zeros that are being represented are part of MAC frames. Businesses typically get a dedicated fiber access. This is sometimes called active ethernet in contrast to residential services that use a shared fiber backhaul and a network architecture called a passive optical network. So active ethernet means that you have a dedicated connection to a port on a piece of network equipment. Passive optical network means you're sharing one with 31 other people. Fixed wireless means broadband wireless to residences from a cell tower. A mobile network adds handoffs from one tower to the next, allowing users to move around without having their call drop. With 5G and MIMO, actual downloading speeds of 1 gigabit per second are in reach. Satellite communications would be the longest of these last mile technologies. It's closer to 30,000 miles to a geosynchronous satellite from the city of Yellowknife. 